Pulmonary hypertension is an umbrella term for a family of diseases that all have the same presentation, which is where the blood pressures in the lungs are elevated. As the heart pumps on the right side, it pumps that blood through the lungs where oxygen is picked up to the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart then pumps that blood to the rest of the body. And it's that conduit or that interplay between the right and left side of the heart that takes place across the lungs where disease can take place. The symptoms of pulmonary hypertension can oftentimes be deceptive. In fact, there's a, quite a bit of lag between when patients present their symptoms and when they're diagnosed. And the reason for that is the symptoms are the same symptoms that you see in any type of heart or lung disease. Patients may present with um, chest pain that is not exactly from a clear source. Uh, they can present with breathlessness, particularly when they walk, and even particularly when they walk um, upstairs or up inclines. Um, some patients will present um, with uh, cough. Some patients will present with um, swelling in their feet. Um, and oftentimes patients will present just with having abnormal echocardiograms. The treatments for pulmonary hypertension are diverse. And the reason for that is that the causes of pulmonary hypertension are diverse. Um, some patients, um, when they come into our clinic, we make lifestyle recommendations, recommendations for the changes in their diet. In that case, sometimes we have a meet with our nutritionist. Um, some patients, we make recommendations about uh, changing their sleep habits. Um, in that case, oftentimes, we'll make referrals to our sleep doctors um, to help in that evaluation. And sometimes patients um, require um, higher and more complicated therapies. And in that regards, um, our nurse practitioner, our nurse, our pharmacist, um, and oftentimes the combination of the cardiologist and the pulmonologist in our clinic um, come together to devise an individualized plan um, for the individual needs of that patient and their disease.